Hi, this is Marcus Wu, also known as Riptide, and welcome to making a DDR pad 101. Okay, first thing we need to do is go over the tools we need um, to cut everything, basically. Uh, I use this uh, jigsaw to do the drilling and screwing. <laughs> I use uh, it's an old drill, but it works. Good set of drill bits. Uh, be sure you have a half inch and a five eighths inch. Um, rulers. It's good to have a a good 90 degree angle ruler as well as a straight edge ruler. Solder gun, <coughs> tin snips you cut the sheet metal with. Um, as far as uh, bits for your jigsaw, uh, just a good assortment. Um, one that you'll really need is the metal fast cut. This you will need to cut the plexiglass. If you use a small, uh, a small, a finer uh, bit, it will actually uh, melt the acrylic. If you use a, a coarser blade, it will crack it, make it re look really nasty. A uh, good tape measure can always be used. A pin, permanent marker. This is a surform. I use it to take down edges and straighten them out. Uh, it's not required, but it comes in very handy. This is a hand plane. It's also not required, but comes in very handy. Uh, solder gun. If you have a solder iron, you could probably use that instead. Staple gun. You can use this to secure some of the wires within there. Uh, it's really good if your staple gun will take um, staples for wires specifically. They've got a rounded side to them so that they don't cut the wires. Uh, you can use a circular saw. Uh, I'm not going to right now. Okay, now we're going to be going over what materials we need for to build the pad. What I have here is a two foot by three foot uh, piece of sheet metal. It is point or it's, it's 22 gauge sheet metal and underneath this here is uh, the plexiglass actually it's called Duraplex it's acrylic any type of acrylic will do it's uh, 0.22 inches thick that's nearly a quarter of an inch um, next thing we go to here is this is Cat5 cable it's got eight strands within it. Uh, this cable can be used to solder to the controller or you can go with this type of cable. This is a phone cable and it's got six strands. Okay this is the weather strip we're going to be using. It's half an inch thick, three quarters inch wide um, and it's got a, an adhesive side to it and it's open cell foam. That's important. Okay, these are um, drywall screw screws. We just use uh, one and a quarter inch. These are the screws that are going down into the top of the pad, and so they need to look similar to the arcade ones. They are Pan Phillips screws. Um, they're 
sheet metal screws. These are the corner braces, and they'll just they're just uh, there to hold the plexiglass down and, and give an additional feel of the arcade pad. And you'll need eight packs of that. Notice that the company is called Brainerd. Most people get the Stanley braces, but I tend to get go with these because uh, they don't have any words printed on them. Spray adhesive will be spraying onto the plexiglass, bottom piece of plexiglass. This large piece here is three quarters inch thick plywood and we've got a four foot by four foot length of this. Back here we have two lengths of eight foot uh, two by four which we'll be cutting up and using with the under uh, for the base of the pad. Okay, what I've got here is all of the materials I have cut to the sizes I need them. Um, the plexiglass cut to uh, seven, I mean ten and seven eighths by ten and seven eighths. Uh, the and that's eight pieces. The plywood is also cut to ten and seven eighths to ten, ten and seven eighths. Uh, that's five pieces of that. Um, I've got four lengths of 2x4 four four at 33 inches across each. I've got a 12x12 12 12 inch uh, uh, sheet metal piece. And it's, I have six of those. We're going to cut the cut one of them up to be for the contacts under the arrows. And you may notice here that there's a little bit of red on there that's blood mine. <laughs> be careful when you cut the, the sheet metal. It is going to be sharp and they're going to be splinters. So uh, careful. Uh, and this piece down here underneath is 33 inches by 33 inches. That's going to be the base of the pad. So those are all the pieces cut to the size we need.